Luke chapter 21 And having looked up, he saw those who cast their gifts into the treasury, rich men. And he also saw a certain poor widow casting two mites there. And he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow cast in more than all. For all these out of their superabundance cast into the gifts of God. But this one out of her want all the living that she had cast in. And as some were speaking about the temple, that it had been adorned with good stones and devoted things, he said, These things that you behold, days will come, in which there will not be left a stone on a stone that will not be thrown down. And they questioned him, saying, Teacher, when then will these things be? And what is the sign when these things may be about to happen? And he said, See, you may not be led astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come near. Do not then go on after them. And when you may hear of wars and uprisings, do not be terrified, for it is necessary for these things to happen first, but the end is not immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Also great shakings, and there will be famines and pestilences in every place. Also there will be fearful things and great signs from the sky. And before all these they will lay on you their hands and persecute, delivering up to synagogues and prisons, being brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. And it will become to you for a testimony. Settle then to your hearts, not to meditate beforehand to reply, for I will give to you a mouth and wisdom that all your opposers will not be able to refute or resist, and you will be delivered up also by parents and brothers and relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name, and a hair out of your head will not perish. In your patience, Possess your souls. And when you may see Jerusalem surrounded by encampments, then know that her desolation has come near. Then those in Judea, let them flee to the mountains. And those in her midst, let them depart out. And those in the countries, do not let them come into her, because these are days of vengeance to fulfill all things that have been written. And woe to those with child, and to those giving suck in those days. For there will be great distress on the land and wrath on this people, and they will fall by the mouth of the sword and will be led captive to all the nations, and Jerusalem will be trodden down by nations until the times of the nations be fulfilled. And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity, sea and wave roaring, men fainting at heart from fear and expectation of the things coming on the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and much glory. And these things beginning to happen, bend yourselves back and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. And he spoke an allegory to them. See the fig tree and all the trees. When they may now cast forth, having seen, of yourselves you know that now the summer is near. So also you, when you may see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation may not pass away until all may have come to pass. The sky and the earth will pass away, but my words may not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts may be weighed down with carousing and drunkenness and anxieties of life. And suddenly that day may come on you, for it will come as a snare on all those dwelling on the face of all the earth. Watch then in every season, praying that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that are about to come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. And he was teaching in the temple during the days, and during the nights going forth. He was lodging at that called the Mount of Olives. And all the people were coming early to him in the temple, 
to hear him.